INQ is making some pretty massive improvements with their goals, and they really do seem to be moving too fast to keep up with sometimes. But if you've been following my channel for a little bit, you'll know that at this point, INQ is one of the leaders in high performance quantum computing systems, and over the years, they've hit a lot of important achievements. However, in this latest update, INQ recently showcased accelerated 2025 technical milestones during a webinar hosted by CEO Peter Chapman, SVP of Engineering and Technology Dean Kosman, and the CMO Margaret Arakawa. I'll link the video in the description if you're interested in watching the full thing, but I'll be going over all the key points in this video. One quote from Peter Chapman read, It is imperative that we address performance, scale, and enterprise-grade quantum solutions simultaneously to achieve commercial advantage. Working to operationalize all these commercial advantage pillars is an industry first that sets us apart. While other companies may hyperfocus on a single dimension, we focus on the complete picture to ensure our quantum computing solutions are best in class and provide incomparable value to our customers. While the SVP of Engineering and Technology, Dean Kosman, believed that INQ's unique approach of combining high-performance, single-core operations with modularity is going to be scalable and perfect for enterprises who want to harness this performance. And speaking of performance, performance improvements were at the core of INQ's technical roadmap because the company has been on a pretty aggressive path towards meeting their performance goals with some of these goals being to increase native gate fidelity, which is just a measure of how accurately a basic operation is performed, improving on architectural design decisions, and improving on error correction. So with their newly updated architecture, INQ stated that they now expect to reach 99.999% in logical 2 qubit gate fidelity by the end of 2025, which again is just a measure of how accurately their computers can perform tasks. Scale is also another important factor that they brought up as well, with INQ pursuing scale in tandem with performance. In fact, one thing that makes INQ's system so important is their scalability at high performance, with modularity also being crucial for this. Their approach to scale though relies on making engineering and architectural decisions that support the performance of large qubit counts. And lastly, I think it's important to note that INQ is indeed building quantum computers that are enterprise grade with their obvious goal of meeting real-world needs. Their enterprise-grade approach readies their systems for deployment across various industries. In fact, INQ has successful partnerships with organizations like Naval Research Laboratory, Airbus, and DESI, which is an internationally renowned center for research. And additionally, INQ is currently exploring a number of quantum algorithms that can be used across fields like artificial intelligence, finance, and cybersecurity. And INQ is showing no signs of slowing down, with their presence becoming greater by the day. INQ currently operates two quantum centers, one of its headquarters in College Park, Maryland, and the other in Seattle, Washington. And later this year, INQ will expand its footprint even further by bringing its data center to Basel, Switzerland online. And of course, all these locations are dedicated to supporting the needs of INQ's customers. So, while their stock will no doubt be a bumpy ride, I'm going to continue to hold on to this company because I think we can expect some really groundbreaking stuff from them in the future. I mean, INQ truly does have some intelligent minds working behind the scenes to ensure that the company remains at the cutting edge of quantum technology. And to see exactly what I'm talking about, I recommend you check out this video next. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you next time.